Hey finger drummers, my name is Dragon and this is a groove breakdown of a basic hip hop swing. If you want more free finger drumming lessons like this one, be sure to head on over to dragonfingerdrums.com. There's a link in the video description down below. Okay, so today we're doing a groove breakdown of a very basic hip hop swing beat. This is a classic standard sort of drum groove that you'll hear in a ton of hip hop tracks all over the decades. So, first of all, the beat that you heard in the beginning, that's the final version of the beat. What we're going to do to break it down is slow it down a good little bit. That's a really important tip for when you're breaking down a beat or trying to learn a new rhythm is slow it way down, slower than you'd normally play it because that really helps your fingers to precisely hit the notes. You're definitely not rushing or missing anything. And if you can play it slow, then it's actually a lot easier to play it fast. So this beat is just the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. Three pads, three drums, that's it. So I have my kick here on pad five, and I'm playing it with the middle finger of my non-dominant hand. Whether you're left or right-handed, doesn't matter. Just play with the middle finger of your non-dominant hand on that kick drum. On pad six, right next to it, I'm playing the snare with the index finger of my non-dominant hand. And then on pad three down here, I'm playing the hi-hat with the index finger of my dominant hand. So that's my pad setup. If you have your drums a little different than where I have them, that's fine. Just make sure that your fingering, the fingers that you're using and the hands that you're using for each sound are the same as mine. That's really important to get the best and most accurate possible sound. So this groove starts with just steady eighth notes on the hi-hat. Very simple, very straightforward, but it's crucial to get those eighth notes locked in before you try to play the rest of the elements. A lot of finger drummers, when I hand them the pads and I tell them to start playing, they try to play all the elements at the same time. And it's really easy to get confused that way. If you stop, take a breath, add one element at a time and get, get them locked in one at a time, then the whole beat will come together almost effortlessly. So we're gonna start again at a much slower tempo, just playing eighth notes on that hi-hat. Again, really simple, really straightforward. Play to a metronome if you need to, totally fine. Just make sure you're locked in on those eighth notes. If you're skipping or, or, or off beat, don't try to add in the next snare and kick parts yet. Make sure you get those, those hi-hat eighth notes down and then move on to the snare. So once you've got your eighth notes locked in, we're gonna add in the snare on the two and the four. And that sounds like this. So again, very simple, very straightforward. Get those hi-hats locked in, get those snares locked in before you move on to the kick. Now the kick is the most complicated part of this rhythm. So we're playing the one and the three with the kick, but right before that three, we have a, a, a swung note, a swing note basically. And that, that's a term that comes from jazz, doesn't need to be explained here. It's more of uh, something you feel uh, and listen to, but what we're gonna do with the kick is we're not going to play that swing note at first. We're gonna start with just the one and the three because that's the easiest way to start to establish the skeleton of this groove. Uh, it, it, it'll just be a lot easier if you get that, again, locked in and then add the swing note. Again, this is all about sequentially building elements on top of each other, getting them really strong. Just like you're building a building, you want each layer of the building to be very strong before you add another layer on top of it because it just makes it that much easier. So now we're using all three of our primary fingers here. We've got our index finger of our dominant hand on that hi-hat playing those eighth notes. We've got our index finger of our non-dominant hand on the snare drum playing that two and that four. And then we've got our middle finger of our non-dominant hand on that kick drum playing the one and the three. So that sounds like this. Again, it's very straightforward. 
but a lot of finger drippers can get tripped up by this. So you really just wanna make sure you have a strong, strong rhythm and your notes, you're not um, deviating from the tempo. So again, put on a metronome if that really helps you. Now, once you've gotten that basic foundation of the groove down, we're gonna add that swing note on the kick. And this is where the magic of this beat happens and what makes it sound so cool and interesting. So that swing note is actually what's called a 16th note triplet. And when you put it into the beat that we've been playing, it sounds like this. So you'll hear it comes right before that kick on the three, that second kick hit that we do. It's almost like a little stutter or a gallop sort of sound. It's two hits quickly in succession. Now to add that in there may take a little bit of practice, but again, this is why it's crucial to have that foundation, get, get those basic notes from the groove locked in, easy that you can just be playing them on repeat and then start experimenting with throwing that kick in there. So at slow speed, I'm gonna put the whole groove together for you. And then once you've got it locked in and down pat at that speed, let's bring it back up to the full speed. And that's it. Very simple groove, very straightforward. Classic beat in a lot of hip hop tracks, but if you can get that groove really solid and locked in, you'll have an excellent groove to add to your finger drumming arsenal, and uh, it, it'll make all your music and all your tracks that much more spicy. If you want to see more videos like this, if you have any questions about finger drumming or have any topics that you want me to cover, make sure you leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.